Hey! It's already broke, and it's like what's, nine minutes. What you got? Nine how many? Minutes. How many people do you have in here right now? Let me. I'm gonna go over. Gonna, I hit a hundred. There Holy you go. Crap. Isn't that amazing? I've got your channel up now. I'm watching. Oh, hang on a second. Say something so I can see if I keep talking. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, right, now I can look see. Look at my butt. <laughs> here, don't look at my butt. All right, guys. What we're gonna do real quick for for the people in here, real quick. We're going to do a like spike. Have you heard of a like spike before, Van Vita? Uh, Van Life Rocks has tried it in the past. You okay, well, we're going to do it the right way. For everybody in okay. chat, get ready. You now, if you're on a phone or a tablet, get your finger on that thumbs up button, but don't push yet because we're all going to do it together. If you're on a PC or a Mac, you take your mouse and you put it over that thumbs up button, but don't click on it yet because we're all going to do it together. You guys know the drill. I'm counting you down from five, and we're smashing that like button for a like spike. So five, four, three, Two, one, like spike. <laughs> and I think, I don't know how many likes you had in the beginning, but we're going to see what it grows to. You've got 107 like, people in chat right now, my friend. I know. Oh my gosh. I have 38 thumbs up. You got 38 thumbs up. I there have you, you got 117. All right. I'm going to, I can't read your chat right now because it's so delayed. I don't have a right brain. I'm not going to be able to read chat and talk to you at the same time and do an interview. So guys, <laughs> I can I look at the comments and, and uh, yeah, here we go. I got, I got comments up. Okay, cool. Oh, is it, coming? Yeah, it, it is always delayed. Which, yeah. how do you stream when you do your live streams? I just pull it out and go on a tree. I mean, when, oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome oh my god we got a super chat already awesome, Prairie awesome. Life great says a like spike is awesome and she's welcoming you and all of the nomad nation for coming in we got a it's nice tonight. that our crews get to meet each other because we both have communities that are amazing oh my gosh the van life community is so awesome the adventures with Pur purpose community has really touched my heart like you wouldn't believe the way they reach out and they 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 lend their support if it's if it's just words of encouragement that's like gold to us that motivates us to get us yeah. out there there's a lot of yeah. people from the AWB community that are seeing van life and they're like oh my gosh we didn't even know this existed this is so awesome i know okay i got to play a little bit of epic shit for prairie life okay Okay, so guys, if you didn't know, no. living Van Vita Loca, <laughs> put up the shit. We have another one. Uh oh, watch out now. Thank you, Rand Smith Rogers. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Now, Kevin, you you know the moose milk thing, and your crew is going to learn about it. But I got to play a little bit of moose milk for Roger. Let's do it. Let's, here I, I love moose. I love that. this. Let's do it again. Come on. <laughs> With you. I can be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear With you I want to stay with you Okay, first I got to show you Shebna is one of my Canadian friends. She's like, oh my goodness. So He's handsome. so handsome. I right? swear to crime and he let's all get out. I just want to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> and I have one more super chat. Okay, I'm going to explain it's the moose milk. super chat. I'm going to explain this to everyone. So I am Canadian to everyone that doesn't know. And in my province, this sounds so stupid. Alcohol is really expensive. But the province next to me, it's cheaper. So when I went to visit Badge, everybody needs one. That's another creator. Um I stopped at a little kind of specialty shop right. and I wanted to buy some alcohol. And I said, what do people usually get other than beer? Cause I don't drink beer. And they said, well, we have moose milk. And I went, what? I'm like, I got to see this moose milk. <laughs> yeah. No, it's moose apparently milk. it's very dangerous to milk a moose. No word of a lie. <laughs> it's, it's dangerous to walk up next to a moose. They're so yeah. dangerous that you, I like, know. The Highway Patrol in Alaska has to carry special ammunition to take down a moose because there's so many people killed by moose. Mm -hmm. Meese. Mm -hmm. And you know what the bad thing at mm -hmm. night is? Their eyes don't glow. Their eyes don't glow and light sh shines on them. So you don't catch that eyes in the headlights kind of thing. Like you That's do because they're vampires and their shit sparkles in the sun. 
Anyways, so I bought this moose milk and it's like a liqueur, which reminds me of what we call in Canada um, a paralyzer, which is similar to what you guys call a, a Colorado bulldog for anybody that's familiar with that. Okay. So on one of my live streams, I introduced the bottle to everyone and took a shot. Well, next thing you know, they were sending me super chats to take another shot and another shot. And I'm telling you. You opened the door. It's like my living room became a bar. Just did you, like that. Did you ever know? that you would make money at drinking? No, no. Welcome to YouTube, my friend. You know what? Go to an actual bar or lounge. Do you think anyone will buy me a drink? No. Sit at home in my living room with 137 I, people. I got to stop you real quick. You don't get drinks bought for you at a bar. Your beauty oh. radiates alcoholism. <laughs> you make the most sober man intoxicated. You can't oh say God, that because I'm not going to believe man. it. You're the queen of Canada. <laughs> You're the queen of Canada. Eh? Oh. So as a thank you back to everybody that's in the channel, and they really, we really like the whole moose milk thing. I had created that little video just as a joke. And then later I went, I just did it because I'm trying to learn to edit, right? So it was good practice. Then I right. made this next one, which I'm doing for Van Life with Gina. Thank you so much, Gina. And Hi, for Gina. anyone who doesn't know, Gina's the whole reason that Kevin and I even know each other. No, Gina Autumn, Autumn I don't have a crushy. Real quick, my, one of my subscribers says, Autumn or Autumn said, Kevin has a crushy. I don't have a crushy. I just know when beautiful women are beautiful and look at her. Oh, oh, geez. <clears throat> All right. Sister. Okay. That's okay. I see some comments in the chat, like my sister-in-law saying, uh, Van Life Rocks, are you getting jealous yet? Because we have an ongoing oh. joke with that we can get to later. But I'm going to play a little bit, the second version of Moose Milk for Gina. <laughs> They met in a bar. Go figure. You just got a super chat for one of my subscribers. I got tons of super chats. Check this out. These people are amazing. Oh my gosh. The AWP community is the best community on YouTube. I'm not lying to you. These oh. are the most caring people on the planet. I would not be able to retire. I'm retiring next week. I would not be able to retire to go on the road full time if it wasn't for this specific community. I only got 4,000 to... subscribers and I'm retiring. I'm trying to pull these up and my chat skip. So I do see Navy Net sent me a super chat and Marshall with Nomadic Adventures sent me one as well. And he's hoping to collaborate with you one day as well. I got another one from Michael Santana who said that you sent him over. Yeah, oh Michael God. Santana Denise is an amazing person. Others. Denise Pace. Denise is an amazing person. Yeah. All these guys. I mean, I can't speak well enough about everybody. Every single person I have in chat, my moderators are the king of moderators. They blow out people real quick for being. Now I do I've have. I've never had so many attention. super chats that have filled that top chat bar. Well, you're a super chick. Oh my God. This is go, just sister. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, so I, I see 140. I'm going to pass out. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> so. To put this in perspective, guys, I'm not downplaying Chrome. Chrome is one of the biggest YouTubers when it comes to van life that I've ever seen, and his content is perfect. But let me tell you, yesterday when I was watching her interview Chrome, who's got 150,000 subscribers, I think the max that I saw your channel get was 85 followers. The AWP community is so awesome. And this is nothing against Chrome. Brother, I love you. You're doing amazing. Well, no, I hit 87. I hit 87 last night. 87. What is my all-time record? <laughs> But AWP community came in here and we're nearly doubling that. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to this young lady. She is absolutely adorable. And I love all of her content. You'll see if you go back and watch some of her older videos. I love that whole young lady thing. We're the same age, aren't we? You're actually older than I am by about a year. Oh, would that make me a cougar? Well, Does a year make me a cougar? But the thing about it is you look 10 years younger. Oh, there we go. So we have a question. Uh, yes. AWP, what does that mean for those that are not familiar with it? Awesome question. And I'm so glad somebody asked me because it's so hard for me to be on the other side of the camera and be your viewers watching you because I'm so used mm -hmm. to always talking to my viewers and AWP viewers. AWP is a YouTube channel that just hit a million subscribers a couple days ago. They're called Adventures with Purpose. And what they do is they're a dive recovery team 
who goes down and they clean out waters by bringing cars up, cell phones and things like that. But that niche has changed. They've solved seven missing person cases in the last 14 months by bringing cars up. When I was in Texas with them last month, we solved a 30 year old cold case. A sister has been missing her younger sister for 30 years, had no idea what happened to her, has been trying for 30 years to find her. Every avenue she can take, she's been taking. We found that car in 15 minutes. Can you, those Jared and Sam over at Adventures with Purpose are the angels sent from God to this planet by far. So check wow. them out. And that was a big part of your whole launch into the success of your channel, correct? Correct. I was in law enforcement for 12 years, and then I became an electrical engineer when the recession hit. But I reached out to Jared on Adventures with Purpose about three months ago, and I had told him that, hey, I just want to give you a little bit of what I'm seeing with security concerns because I want to keep you guys safe. Take it or leave it. Um, here's my information for you. A month later, he emailed me back, come with us. So I've been with them and now I'm retiring to go on the road full time with them to do all these cases that are around the country. And I, sometimes I have to go armed because there's a lot of cases out there where it's unsolved. Could be murder. You have to go armed? I was armed in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. I was armed in Texas because we, we, we have an idea of why she's missing and we have an, a person of interest and that person who is a felon is still at large. So we were diving for that car. They were diving. I, I'm just security. I secure the perimeter. I secure the equipment, but most importantly, the team that's down there diving. Because if a murder suspect wants to stop somebody from searching, they're going to do it. If I'm there, they're not going to do it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's, it blows your and mind. your channel but just started as you were kicking off van life. I put my keys in my door January 1st at 12 midnight. The strike of the new year, lock the door. That's when my, my channel began. And it's been an amazing ride ever since. Wow. And I think I hooked up with Jared and Sam from Adventures with Purpose maybe two weeks later or three weeks later. And now I'm retiring. I'm a full-time YouTuber. And you're a year younger than me. Yes. Seriously? And you are single, right? <laughs> Here we go. All right, ladies, take a number. Come on down. The highest bid is $662 to your name, Steve. You can't bid on a guy. <laughs> Sweetheart, I don't take a number. <laughs> I stay <laughs> home alone instead. <laughs> With the cats? No, you're, you're, you're so adorable. I couldn't, I couldn't try to put it into words how adorable you are on TV. You know this. You're just, well, maybe you don't. But you are. Everybody loves you. Everybody, I've been watching your live streams. Everybody in here loves you because you have a great personality and you're beautiful to look at. So you got, you know, the two heavy hitters when it comes to YouTube. No, you know what? I'm I'm connected to a beautiful community, people oh, that gosh. are genuine Damn. and real, down to earth, and we all connect on that same level, right? And help each other out if they need sometimes. something. And I say some stupid stuff, but they no, it's just a bunch of shites. You don't say stupid stuff. <laughs> For any sake, this woman's going batshit crazy over there. How many accents can you do, Kevin? Uh, 16. 16? 16. Uh, you want it, You want a little... Um, that's the hardest one for me to do, which isn't an accent. It's Latin, actually. But you can't do a Latin accent. Or Spanish. Let's go to Venezuela. Can you speak Spanish? Or you no. just know a phrase uh, and you sound like you no, can I just, speak No, I just remember words that were spoken to me. Yeah. Well, like this is like a gift. I, I, I guess. I don't know. I just remember and I can put it, if that makes any sense. If you want to talk like crazy. a redneck, we can talk like a redneck. For crying many kids, get wife, get the kids. We're eating her. For Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, well, I, can see, I can see why you have so many people watching your live Would stream. you like me to do a little bit of Indian? Oh, quit freaking out on my channel. I'll do it for you. You do something for me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm a dork. You the do reason why I'm I don't even know what to say. <laughs> You got, it's hard to keep up with me because I'm so batshit crazy, but, um, 
it's it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to keep up with me. So you just gotta just like take it in. I'm sorry, but this is the line. I'm a dork and I embrace it. Oh wait, we got, got a single. He has Bella. You have two Bella. dogs, don't you? I got Bella and Barrett. I got a 110 pound German Shepherd Timberwolf and an 85 pound full bred German Shepherd, and we live in a 60 square foot van. Um. So do they sleep in the bed and you get the floor or how does that work? <laughs> well, on the really cold nights, both dogs are up there. Be only because the floor gets a little bit cold. The rest of the van mm -hmm. is cozy, but the floor can get cold. And I do have insulation underneath there. Barrett's always been a bed sleeper. He's always next to dad. Always. hundred percent of the time. Bella, excuse me. She's a rescue. And the first three years of her life, she wasn't treated very well. So she's never had a bed to sleep in. She's never had a warm house, never even had a dog bone, barely was fed. She was 40 pounds lighter when I got her and I've had her for three years and she's well past all that bull crap and she's living a fat, happy life and she's fat now. I was, she was 70 pounds when I got her, I think. She's a floor sleeper, but she, she loves me. I mean, just through the, through the roof. She will come up on the cold nights and she'll keep me warm. She doesn't want me to keep her warm. She'll put her back up to me and keep me warm. I mean, that's just so dog protective. Life. What's so that? Protective. So protective. That's that's genuine love, right? Oh gosh, yeah. And she was yeah. a year ago. I couldn't take her around a human being. Like if I took her for a walk, she was always fighting to get away from any human being that was watching or walking. Now she'll go up to him. It's pretty cool. Timer sixty six. Thank you for that. And you know what? I am definitely. I know I have not done enough thank yous for all the chats that came through. But you know what? They it's are all movie. epic. You have 154 people in chat right now. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? That's I know. Number. It's very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just the start. You're going to have 300 people in chat by the end of the week, I promise you. It's crazy. No. You've really? Got just, you've got just as many likes as you've got viewers in here. I mean, that says a lot about you. Yeah. Now, oh, we got a question. Can you do John Wayne? Uh, it, it'll take me. Uh, it's like a rotary of, of impressions. Pull it out of the road of Rolodex. I, or it's been it's been so long. Um, I'm trying to reference a movie that he's done. So I have to reference me hearing him. Um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Kelly uh, Bliss. Oh, Kelly Bliss is the best. I love her to death. She lives in Utah. She works from home. She's got some adorable kids. Her husband works a ton, so she misses them. But she is one of my favorite people on this planet. Well, then she gets a dance chat. Let's see it. Now, if anybody out there has more professional versions, feel free to send it to me. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little secret. Uh, people know that I'm not professional, so my viewers won't be uh, sending you anything. <laughs> Just a little bit oh of time. God, there's another one. These are all because you are here, Wesley. No, no, no. It's, it's partly you. because my viewers came over with me, but it has a lot to do with you. They're not going to give you a super chat unless they love you. And let me tell you, these guys are always honest. Let me tell you. My moderators are the best. My viewers are the best. I can't, I can't tell you how honest and true they are. Some of the messages I get, are just, they just blow me. Can I read you one? Yeah, that'd be great. I'll play a super chat thank you really quick while you... Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Do it. And thank you, thank you so very much, Wesley. You guys are amazing, amazing. Oh, there is even someone here from Ireland. That Christ. is so For cool. For Christ's sake, why'd you come here from Ireland? Can't you just go back home, will you? No, okay, I love you guys this, from Ireland. I, I this one is well. the most special one, I'll tell you that, because this is my little brother and his family. Now, I'm 46, and so my little brother is 30, so I was 29. in high school when he was born. I was in high school and everybody has always thought he was my child ever since. You'd think we would outgrow that now that we're at this age because it hurts my feelings when someone thinks a 30 year old is my child. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's uh, saying good job to me. Thank you so much for that, DJ. We've got Jacob from 
from Chaos Divers. Jacob is one one dude that if I could define somebody who is true as a person that I could define, Jacob's one of them. And for him to come over here, that says a lot to me. So well, thank, thank you, you so Jacob. much, I Jacob, it. for being here. I, do, I was reading some of these chats. Oh, Van City Adventure. Hello, what's going on? Can I read you this message from, we were Please talking do. about my subscribers and how we're, we're touching base and how people's lives are touching mine and I'm touching theirs. I'm not going to mm -hmm. go into the conversation before. This is, this is Kelly Bliss. Remember Kelly Bliss? And yes. you just got a super chat from uh, Tracia. She's one of my favorite people on this planet too. She, uh, these guys are pouring out their love from my channel to you because they enjoy what you're doing. Aww. Kevin, if you send me your address, I'll send you some Irish stuff. Hey, we're getting dangerous with the Irish stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So let me read this real quick or we're going to get lost. Um, okay. So I'm not going to go into the conversation that we had before. And this, is, this isn't a text message or anything like that. It's through Patreon. So I touch base with my Patreon supporters on a daily basis. And that's where um, they stay in contact with me to keep it all out of the emails because I get so many spam emails and, and fish emails that it's dangerous for me to open them up. And my people or the people who watch my channel that email me are suffering because I'm trying to go through all of them, but it's dangerous. So my Patreon supporters know that, okay, I'm going to go over there and talk to them because it's safer. And this is, this is how I met Kelly. So I'm not going to go into what we went into, but I, I, I said to her, I am so happy that you're doing better. Uh, what you just told me warms my heart. Her answer, yes, you and the doggos are my favorite YouTube stars. I think you are unaware of just how different your streams are from many other channels. I look forward to every one of them. I had no idea my, my channel was different. I put, oh, thank you, Kelly. That really means a lot. I did not have any idea that my streams are dot, dot, dot. How are they different? And this is her response. And I, I, I don't, I'm not a crier. And this, this kind of brought a tear to my eye. Oh, you are crap. focused on the Kleenex. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Just snot it out. Oh, you know, it's like some old farmer. You're yeah. from Canada. Hey, <laughs> I Please, snot it out. Please, on I'm going to flip you the bird, buddy. I can't believe my channel members aren't on this factor because oh, wait, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Because everybody knows it's really not appropriate to give someone the finger during a live stream, but I can flip you the bird. <laughs> we got to <laughs> love the bird. Well, on you with the bird. <laughs> okay, go. Let's do it. Okay. I'm ready. Sorry. So she put, you are focused on the people who are watching. I watched a lot of YouTube while I wasn't working. I don't know of any other channel where it felt like I was a big part of the group of friends from the very beginning. You you recognize everybody by name in the chat. You even noticed when my profile picture changed. And uh, that just, that touched me a lot. There, we, we can go into more, um, but I haven't asked her. I asked her permission to put that out there and she gave me permission. There's more after that that touched my heart. But I haven't, mm -hmm. Kelly, I haven't asked your permission yet, so I'm not going to speak about it. But that really tells me about how what you and I do, if we just have relationships with our viewers, they're real people. I'm a real person. You're a real person. It changes our lives. It changes mm -hmm. their lives, but it's it's changed my life as much as it's changed theirs. Yeah, especially in this last year. This last year has been so hard oh for people gosh, all over the world, right? right? And I can tell you honestly, thanks to everyone in this community, I am never alone. Ever, ever. ever. I know. Like it's you, so you could beautiful. be sitting alone in your house, in your couch. There's nobody next to you, but you've got 150 people that are wrapped around your living room right now that mm -hmm. enjoy your company. So yeah. it, that warms my heart. Yeah. Because really. they don't have to be here. They right? don't. Too. So it's, it's like, wow. Wow. There's um, so many other things that these viewers could be doing or other YouTube channels to be watching. And they're they're watching me be an idiot. You know what I mean? <laughs> so true. <laughs> Just the timing so of that. I swear. It's so true. Oh, this is going to be a, uh, I haven't had a drop of alcohol maybe five times since I moved into the van. Yeah. And I really only drink scotch or bourbon and I haven't had a scotch or bourbon since last year. So my well, mom. You'll have to come to Canada and I'll get you some moose milk. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom's like there's a liquor store down the street so i went out and bought 
a bottle of scotch. Are you going to do a shot? Are you going to do a shot? I'm not, I don't do shots of scotch. I drink it out of a glass. Ooh, ew, ew. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, you're from Canada, eh? <laughs> All you drink is Molson. We had a question earlier. Uh, Amy Morris had asked, what do you think of us Canadians? Oh, we love you to death. We really do. If we could make the whole world like Canada, none of us would have problems. Oh, you think that as an outsider looking in everywhere you go, there's there's good and bad and ups and downs. Well, there let is. me let me put it this way. As a former police officer, I know the crime rate per capita. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and Canada is like 50% lower than the best part of the world on average. Oh. Wow. Yeah. You can tra wow. travel from BC all the way to, let's call it, uh, what's right above Detroit, Michigan? That's... um. What's the name of that big town that has gambling? Because after that, it gets a little hairy. But anyway, that's from one side of the U.S. all the way to the other side of the U.S. for Canada. Your crime rate is 70% lower than the lowest average in the United States from one coast to the other. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anna is from Canada as well, Ontario. Hey, awesome. Most Canada. of our population is in the Ontario, Quebec area. I'm in Saskatchewan, so I'm in the middle of the prairies. I'm direct, like I'm an hour north of North Dakota. For anyone what that is, doesn't know where in Canada I am. What is your ethnic background? Don't say Canadian. I'm not. I don't, I'm Canadian is how I describe it. Like I know We're all mutt, like, there's, there's actually German, Italian, um, English, but it's just a mosh posh of whatever so i'm just canadian is but the tower of babel is you <laughs> why because that's everywhere all the that's where all the ethnic groups took they disbanded their language according to, the, according to the bible that's where everybody was and then pff, now we have everybody so yeah, yeah it's just my, my stupid joke i am the it's difficult for me this is this is cool but it's difficult because i've never been on the other side of the camera I'm having this somebody... is the first time you've been on someone else's live stream. Oh my gosh, I'm a 17 year old bridesmaid. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Well, well, how I'm are you sweaty. doing? <laughs> Here, do you need my fan? I actually have two. Hey, guess what? Those are your two biggest fans. I... <laughs> I'd like to say you're wrong, but you're not. <laughs> well, these are great, they're USB. They're the battery lasts forever. You can adjust everything. I don't get any kickback or anything. Yeah. And you can bend it out. And oh, Paula. Paula. I have a converted ambulance that these are amazing in. And apparently they're hey. good on live streams when I blush too much. I live in a van. Do you not think I have fans? This <laughs> is the best fan. I have USB I have fans. Fun ones. I'm getting my roof vent put in this spring. Hey, why? I let me ask you a this winter. I don't. I don't know the answer to this question. Why are you not in your vehicle full time? <sighs> because who's interviewing who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I um, you know, I had a relationship Stick around for five end, minutes just You'll at the beginning out. of my son's last year of high school. So okay. I had a relationship end. I knew my son was leaving home. I've all, I had always been a single parent except for those few brief years in between, and I knew that I was going to. <laughs> Miss him more than anything in the whole world. And well, I was my mom very, says he's your number one son. You're my number one son. So if he's your only one. son, yeah. yeah. So I was really worried. What am I going to do? And then I came across. You're tearing up right now. This, I know. Up. But this van life stuff, it was like the answer to everything. And I mean, things take time, it costs money. You know, as so I bought the ambulance, I've been working on the conversion. I'm, I do have a plan to possibly sell the house, but then my son came back. He's taking online university classes right now because of the pandemic. Yeah, right. right. So I don't, I don't want to. So you're building your, you're building your bus out right now. Ambulance, yeah. Ambulance. Do you have solar or batteries yet? Yep. I in fact taught myself how to do that whole system. I did. You go to DIY DIY Solar on YouTube. Uh, I don't even know. I watched a lot of stuff to wrap yeah. my head around it. When I started, Kevin, I didn't know there was two kinds of power, AC and DC. <laughs> like, you know, AC started about 200 years ago. No, it's, it's been about 110 years. That's when AC started. So yeah, there's a big difference. 
But one I mean, blows you up, one doesn't. I know that. I, I, like, I, I was completely clueless. So I really, I watched so much stuff till everything clicked. And then I, you know, I installed my solar panels to the charge controller, to the batteries. And then I have my 12 volt system off of that, which I also recently bought an alarm for. Um, cause I bypass my inverter for some of the stuff and I need alarm should, if batteries right. go low. Can I ask you I also how did many... my own diesel heater install. <laughs> did you get a Chinese diesel heater? Yes, I did. Awesome. I can't afford the Webastos. Are you kidding me? You're not Chrome Valdez This is no single mom over here. <laughs> Seriously, she's single as all get out, guys. So if you want a date, call. <laughs> oh, no, don't. <laughs> don't do that. I'll give you, I'll give your phone number out right now. Here's you're my a shit phone. disturber. Oh, you have it too. But you know what? Now you're going to get a rash you if you know for that. Sweetheart. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, what kind of batteries did you buy for your... Hey, uh, one of my favorite people just responded. Heidi Lee, I've missed you. Thank you so much. I love you to death. She said, I found AWP on accident, found Kevin through AWP, and just adore the fella and happy to have Van Vita through him. You seem so sweet. By the uh -huh. way, Kevin, sunscreen, you're blonde. It's Florida. Oh, I, I noticed the color, but I get like that too, so I didn't say anything. I was just trying to be nice. Let me give you some reference. You well, you know when you get a burn on us, you just push it, and it shows how white you were before you got the burn. No, for crying in sake, when it touches skin, it just bursts in the flames. <laughs> Do you freckle too? Oh, I used to be a big freckle kid when I was younger. I don't freckle. Me too. Oh, my dream was to get enough freckles that would look like a patchy tan. Okay. I'll let you have that one. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I had them spider webbed across my shoulders when I was younger. And now there's no, oh my gosh, that's the difference of my color of my skin. So that's Ohio and that's Florida. Oh, Florida. I feel so bad for you because we just got through the whole minus 50 Celsius weather. Uh, yeah, I don't that's know. why I'm not moved into my van yet. <laughs> so winters, when you, buddy, winters here. When you do go full time and you live in the van and you're making enough money on YouTube, please do me a favor. Vancouver Island, get over there and stay over there from November to March. I know. So we got we got Adventures with Purpose owner Jared Lysick. Have you watched Adventures with Purpose? Only once or twice. Okay. Um, he just gave me a text message. And let me see if I can make this public or not. Oh my gosh. He's got new loner life jackets. Help save this year. Look at those life jackets, guys. Oh, cool. So not only is the channel helping out families, they also have gear that they don't charge an arm and a leg for, for people to be safe in the water. So, mm -hmm. Just an awesome team. Love those guys to death. And let me tell you, Jared behind the scenes is more goofball than he is on camera. And he can be a goofball on camera. But I think I bring I it out of him. I'm going to put this on mute because I don't want to talk to these people right now because I'm talking to living Van Vita Loca. So we just had a question if I was near Edmonton. I am uh, about nine hours south east of Edmonton. They're, they're the pretty much that much farther north than I am. And yes, Denise, I would love to go to the Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island, I, I'd never been there until I was in my 30s. My son was seven and nine on our trips. And we loaded up a car and we said, we're going west. And we went all the way to Tofino. <laughs> and, and we just fell in love with it there. And yeah, I would definitely love to be there more. My brother's out in Vancouver, so I'm going to have to do some visiting. And no, I haven't really tried geocaching. We did a little bit when my son was young, but... Thank you for the question. What is geocaching? Geocaching says you get these land locations and you got to go find where this stuff is hidden. And then you open it and it's like there's little trinkets and stuff. You can take one and you put one of your own in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it's neat. That's a very so, simplistic explanation. I am giving you, I'm, I'm getting ready to tell you something. What? I'm giving you free reign. Nobody's ever had this. And nobody will ever have it again. I don't care if David Letterman calls me. You're interviewing me. Ask me anything you want. I'm yours for the next foreseeable future. Seriously, <laughs> dig in. Let, let my viewers find out about me and let your viewers find out about me. I will not be candid because my life is pretty plain and easy. So I have nothing really to hide. 
Well, you know, you're at a pretty young age to have left your career. I, I wonder career. why. Um, well, that's a very. Uh, like I imagine it is a know, very stressful job. It's a very important question. And the stress level went from a 10 to a two. Seriously, you started at a 10. We need you at a two. Um, <laughs> my first year, my first five years in engineering, you have to make a name for yourself. You have to get the experience. You got to put in the work and be the punching bag um, that all manufacturing companies want you to be because they know that you're cheap and you need the experience. So we're going to beat the crap out of you. And then after the five years of being an electrical engineer, you have free reign. It's like the complete polar opposite. You got free reign to walk in with the middle finger up in the air to your boss's office, which I haven't done. And my bosses are awesome. So I wouldn't do that to them, but you got the freedom to walk in there and do that. And they won't fire you because they need you that bad. But what I have learned from the automotive industry to the field that I'm in now is that you have automotive, which is stress up to here. And then you have every other manufacturing companies that stresses down to here. What I have found is they're morphing right below the stress levels of automotive because automotive is recessions happen. Let's burn everybody out, make as much as we can. Why the money's good. We'll sell all our stuff. When the recession happens, we'll lay off 70 people, 70% 70 of the people. Everybody I thought you were in law enforcement. I was until 2012. So oh, the recession okay. killed me where I was like in 2010, I said, I'm going to school full time at night. I'm, I'm leaving law enforcement because the recession, basically I was at a poverty level income being a police officer mm -hmm. in 2008, nine and 10. Wow. So in this career as an electrical engineer, you would think it's all roses and it's plenty of money and happiness. It is for people who like the stuff that money buys. What I had found out after I made, a, I've never made decent amount of money until I was an engineer. What I found mm -hmm. out after I made a decent amount of money, I had a Corvette in the garage. I had a Porsche. These are all 80s models. I had an 85 Corvette and an 87 Porsche. I had a 2003 Hummer. I had a, uh, a Navigator and my van all sitting in the driveway thinking that every time I bought something, I'd be happier. And, Doesn't work that way, eh? Hey? Yeah, exactly. And every time I bought something, it added stress onto my life because I had to take care of it. And I love the 85 Corvette. I loved it. It's what I wanted when I was a kid. I mm -hmm. loved the Porsche because it was fun to drive. You could whip it out. All things that I wanted. Um, hey, Lorraine, how you doing? I found that the more money that I have, I can't speak for anybody else, but the more money that I have, the more stupid shit I'm going to buy. And that more, that's stupid I think we shit. all do that. You know, I found the more money I made, the more debt I had. How yeah, twisted that, is that? That's a very, very true statement. I know a lot of people like that. I erased all my debt and then got bored, so wanted to buy everything. So I had stupid amount of stuff. I lived in a 3,000 square foot house with two dogs. I had four bedrooms. Why? I convinced myself it was closer to work. Mm -hmm. But it took me three times as long to take care of the house. Yeah. So one day I woke up, I was like, I literally woke up on the couch because I never slept in my bedroom. Really? Was, I never did. I always slept on the couch. It was a very comfortable couch, by the way. But I, I woke up on the couch and I'm, and I, and I was like, I got to do this today and that today. And this, I'm like, wait a second. I'm 42 years or 43 years old. I have no kids. I'd never been married. Why do I have all this shit to do? I know. Cause I bought too much shit. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm Chrome Valdez. I'm selling all my crap and moving into my van. I bought the van to take my three dogs. I was fostering one uh -huh. to, to the vet. I bought a van to take these three dogs to the vet. And now I'm living in this son of a gun. Wow. That's why I moved into a van. That's why, that's why I'm giving up my career. I would rather make $25,000 a year than $125,000 a year and see this country. Talk to people like you. Have the community of the chats that I'm reading right now. Seeing what AWP does to help people. Watching the overpowering emotional support from people I've never met mm -hmm. to help out Jared and Sam from Adventures with Purpose. To make sure another happy, 
or another uh, family has answers to lead them past that part of not knowing anything. I couldn't imagine not knowing where my mother is. You know what I mean? Ron Darrell's got a good point here. Ron Darrell Adventures. He's like, you don't own a house. It owes you. That's so true. Like I, you know, I didn't even go back to university until my, until I had my son. He was 10 months old when I started my university education in my mid twenties. And, you know, you live off of nothing during those years and you finally get the job and you're like, okay, I got to get the house. I got to get the car. I got, you know, do all these things. And then it's like, He's done. Um, He's moved on. Am I happy? No, I'm tied to my couch because I can't afford to leave this house I'm paying for. Well, to put it in perspective to you, um, since I've moved out of my house, I've always had the financial freedom the last five years of my life to go wherever I wanted to go. I've always had that financial freedom. Mm -hmm. I never went anywhere, ever. Since I moved into my van, so let's put this in perspective. All right. Okay. So that's the United States. This is Ohio. I've went from Ohio to Missouri, back to Ohio to Tennessee, back to Ohio to Texas, back to Ohio to Texas, back to Ohio to Florida in eight weeks. I've seen and met. I can't wait for the video that I shot today where I met a complete stranger who moved from California to Florida because life sucks with money and moved to Florida for happiness. I'm editing mm -hmm. that video. will be out within a month, but I would never have met these people, Paula. If I would have stayed in that lifestyle, I'd yeah. be bored. I used to watch television for seriously 30, 40 hours a week. Mm, now it's YouTube. I, I'm, I, yeah. Why? Don't stop watching our channels. No, 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 no. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, keep, keep but here's that. the flip side. Yeah. And I mentioned this to Chrome when he was here yesterday. And maybe your response will be different. But my biggest worry is losing my pension. Like, you know, I mean, I, I mean, what I've earned so far will be there. But if I stop working now, I have to wait an extra 10 years because I won't get early retirement. An extra 10 years to access it. And it's going to be about half the amount. It's it's a very catch twenty two. It's a very touchy subject. It, it's literally three different personality types. So, mm -hmm. um, my personality type is, and I'm I'm not I don't make decisions on my emotions, but I don't let my emotions happen because of my decisions. We are the rarest of individuals because we're the most like van lifers. Like Chrome said yesterday, a woman who lives in a van knows who she's she is and she's the strongest female on the planet well let me tell badass, you badass i think he used as a phrase in that too seriously is she badass i swear to cry <laughs> um so my personality type is i'm extremely independent i go on the grace of god i believe that he really delivers me my mother said it to me twice god's had an umbrella over you for the rest, for your entire life because there's some stuff that you should not have gotten out of like yeah. Falling out of trees, crashing motocross bikes into trees, um, being shot in my finger, a whole bunch of stuff. But my careers that I've been in, sorry about the hitting the mic. I go by the grace of God. I follow my instinct. I jump without a parachute because I know there's a safety net always there. And that safety net is I trust myself. I trust myself. I will always come out somewhere okay. I don't need to come out above everybody else or successful. Oh, no. oh, of course. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a tough call, you know, and then Chrome had brought to my attention too, for anyone that doesn't know Van City Van Life was on my live stream yesterday. Um, the best part about Chrome is the darn bulldog. <laughs> but he, he said, you know, why, why not? Who says I have to quit working the job that I'm in to live in my ambulance? You, you work from home, right? Well, only because of the pandemic. Normally, I, I'm on the road three days a week with my full-time job. Well, right? your, in your office, house on wheels work. has wheels. Yeah, I know. But that's very expensive to drive for work <laughs> rather than a government vehicle. <laughs> well, like Rome said yesterday, you pay $1,200 a month in rent, right? Mm-hmm. I've traveled yeah, I know. from coast to rent coast, to mortgage, coast, to coast but... and back. I've spent $1,200 in, in a month and a half, I guess. 
I'm on to but you know what? Getting to know every single person that I've interviewed on this channel, every person that's commented in the chat has been making it less scary. I know because they have so much personal. Here's my my take on wisdom. Somebody who's wise, you got to have education and you got to have experience above education. People who have that much experience, they are so wise. Cruise has our cruise. Chrome has nearly four years yeah how to mess up and how to be good at yeah. van life and he's been transparent through all of it mm -hmm. um so those friends and family and whoever that give you that advice through experience they're they're just geniuses they're wise thank you carol you got this. I sub because Kevin, you got this, she says. I know. I like that you got this. Hey, Carol. Nice to see you. Love you, sweetheart. I do have my dreams. And you know what? This channel is huge for the learning to let go. And and like my dream is to live in the ambulance. It really is. And to travel. That That's what I want to do. And if, if someday I could find another way to support myself doing it, there would never be a second guess. Well, let me, let me give you a little bit of insight on it. I am taking the biggest gigantic leap of income leap from stability to I've saved enough money where I'm going to do this for a year. And if I have to dip into my savings for X amount of years, if I fail, it's 12 months. If you can bring yourself to half of that six months and take off, you have enough experience in your field and age, not saying mm -hmm. that you're old, but as age where you're going to be a first hire, if you fail miserably for six months, you've already, but you've gained 10 years of experience for those six months. You know, you make some really, really good points, Kevin, because I think I'm, I'm thinking too big, too fast. You're right. I could do a six month leave or a 12 month leave of absence. If I can get it approved through work, I still have my job to come back to. And right. then I will have that experience. I'll know hundred percent if I can't go back. Do it now while you have the coherency to be logical. Well, we're healthy. Oh my gosh. Can you but imagine brain healthy. stroke and never, ever getting to achieve those dreams? Exactly. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to yeah. be that guy. I, Kelly, I make, or Kelly, Paula, I make. <laughs> She's uh, in the chat. Paula's up here with you. <laughs> I just wanted to subliminally <laughs> say that I miss you, Kelly. I make a very good amount of money right now. I won't in 10 days. And I've been making that for five years. Mm -hmm. What the, those five years, those first five years of making all that, that really good income, what they have taught me is I want nothing to do with that life. I really don't. That life can give me nothing besides yeah. extra stress. There's, but that, that life can give nothing but added happiness to people who have a different personality type. They like the success. They like the things in their driveway the picket fence white white picket fence big house in a cul-de-sac they like that kind of stuff i found since i'm single and don't have any kids or not married that all that important stuff is basically just meant for your family to be comfortable if i don't have my family to make comfortable and just my dogs they don't care if they pee on a fire hydrant in new york or if they're peeing on a cactus in texas they don't care mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what? I, I really am at that midlife kind of thing right now because once I knew my son was leaving, because well, when you do have a child and you're a single parent, your whole world revolves around them. I couldn't and imagine. Really, so best years of my life raising him. And then I was like, I didn't know what I want, but I'm dreaming again. This whole channel, this channel is thanks to my brother. My baby brother was like, he was with me when I bought the ambulance. I was looking for a van. We both saw the ambulance and went, oh, hell yes. That is Let's exactly for me. Like it. I just knew. I it was. I can't even describe how it felt. It was so cool. I just Did knew you watch was... Van Life channels before you bought the ambulance or after? Yes. yes. So you were well edu educated. Yeah. yeah, I knew what things I wanted and didn't want, right? Well, more of what I wanted, the rest you can learn how to do. That was kind of my philosophy. Mm -hmm. But um. And, and I got it. And now I'm just like, I don't know. It's so good. And then he's like, well, make videos and, and put them on a channel, at least because you have a shitty memory, right? And you're, you're going to be able to look back and you're going to be able to see the progress that you've made. Yeah, for so your self-documentary. 
right? And then it was just August. I got connected, like connected with a group, like a van life community, and most of them are here. And then I started doing live streams in August or September. And, and now I, I'm at least monetized. And today, like another dream is being achieved. I broke another record and and just it's it's awesome it's inspiring and yeah i don't know if i could ever quit doing this let, let me let me not ask you a question but let me give you a little bit of what i've learned okay all the success you could possibly get in your youtube channel mm -hmm. these chats on the screen mm -hmm. are what you're going to remember most yeah not how much money you made, not how successful you are, not about how much YouTube promotes you. I, once or twice a week, missing talking to the Kelly Blisses, you know, to the Carrie Coopers, the yeah. people in my chat that I, I don't get to talk to on an everyday basis. And I wish I can give my phone number out to everybody. I wish I could. But I can only be on a phone, seriously, 1% of the week. I wish I could. This is the only connection I have with them. All that money and f fame or whatever people want to call it, star celebrity, doesn't hold a candle to me seeing Lisa, Mello, Small Town Adventures, Van Life Rocks. Dude, I love yeah. your channel, by the way. Justin, Christina, Sky Dancer. None of this would matter to me if I wasn't reading those, those type of names because I see them every mm -hmm. single time I'm on a live stream. And I couldn't do it without them. If if those people were gone, I would stop live streaming. I seriously would. So there's a couple of people from your community that are saying, loving the Irish shirt. And there's some people from my community going, oh, what's the deal with the Irish shirt? <laughs> That's why. We're Scots why? Irish. I can't tell what color is your hair. It's strawberry blonde. This my, Are this you my, my brother? Just, just my, Am I your older sister? Seriously, that'd be <laughs> kind of weird. This is my Justin Bieber look. <laughs> I've had short hair my whole life. This is the first time I'm growing it out. I've been in the military. Oh, this is long for you? Oh, my gosh, yeah. It's always yeah. been maybe a half inch long. Now that shite's gone absolutely batshit crazy, Karen. Oh, for comedy's sake, somebody get him a scissors, will you? You know what? I want to see what the chat wants to know about you. Why don't you guys plunk in some questions that you've been just dying to have asked that I can totally put them on the spot with? Well, guys, get as candid as you want because I'm not shy. No. Okay. Oh, Here I we go. It. Hang up. Pull up your pants there, buddy. Here we go. I ask everyone that is single on my channel about dating in van life. How's it going, Kevin? Ask that question one more time. I'm sorry. I had to read that text message. It was from somebody that is needing my help, so I had to read it. Ask it one more time. I'm sorry. I apologize. How is dating going now that you're living in a van? I have not been on a date for... 19 months before I moved into the van. So I, well, then I have probably no, not an issue. I have no experience in dating. None. I always ask everyone because I'm like, I wonder what it's like because it's really, really hard as it is now. Right? I, can't, I, I, I wonder what it's going to be terrible like. in today's times. Can online. You, online, I call them cut and paste people. They're, they read something and go, oh, that sounds good. I'm going to copy and paste it into my new personality. For my online presence, right? That's, That's what it is. That's a very good way to put it. I'm going to be fake. People. Yeah. You know, and I even read something. Um, this is maybe four years ago where it was, if you want to be successful in online dating, do something active and put it as your profile picture. That put it into perspective for me. If I record myself being on a pair of skis going downhill, but mm -hmm. I only do it once every 10 years. That's <laughs> what somebody sees me as doing. And then they're going to have this expectation. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, I can only be me. And, and I think sometimes being single, the blessing in being single is 
I can be myself all the time without worrying about what anybody else thinks or embarrassing anyone else. I don't have to even be considerate of another person. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, yeah, but yeah. if you don't want to, you don't have to. Like I could just do whatever I want whenever I want. But isn't that the quintessential definition of freedom? Yes. That and living in an ambulance. Well, if you're ever having, ever having heart troubles, just turn on the extra lights. You could drive what? right to the hospital and not get a ticket. Oh, yeah, right. No, actually, all the signage and the lighting is off. Well, it's that's your, your fault. You should have kept on. it on there. I would have kept it on there. But the wind will still work. You know, the, the white lights in the very front that go. Yeah. Like this? yeah here, here's an odd thing about the United States. And I, I can probably speak about maybe the lower 48s, not really. Alaska and Hawaii, but the lower 48s, if you're flashing white lights, there's no law broken. Really? Yeah. Yellow, <laughs> red, and blue, you're screwed. But if you're flashing whites, more power to you, young lasse. <laughs> For Germany's sake, let's have a party. Yeah. You know, the ambulance, there's a lot of things um, for safety that I really like. I'm not even going to get into that now because I want to spend more time knowing you. But we do yeah. have a couple questions. You just said, I just want to spend more time doing you. You said that on live stream. Did I say doing you? I've been asking you questions. <clears throat> asking, I'm going to have to rewind this. After. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's not. Uh, it's, I'm no trying to read these things at the same time as I'm talking and you're better at doing them at the same time. Where is my bird? Where is my bird? You are oh. so getting the bird right now, buddy. Don't even. I always <laughs> joke, I need to have the guest on this side and then I need them to have little black feathers. And so when I do, the thing will pop to me. <laughs> you're throwing up all of their feathers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, let me, so, let me, let me tell you real quick. Thank you for having me on. Um, thank you. Holy moly, mage! I'm never gonna reach this record again. No like, crap. blew it out of in the water. Two weeks, in double. two weeks, you're gonna be at 500. No. Yeah. You're pretty. Oh, you know what? If you say so, you say so. I didn't think I was gonna break a record, and you were right. You know what? I'm just gonna oh, believe you. This might be the only pretty. time in your life someone believes you. <laughs> I Sorry. have 80% 80, 80 of my YouTube subscribers and watchers are female. So the 20% of males that watch me, they're all going to sub to your channel. And that's going to spread like wildfires because you're a looker. Seriously. Guys, I'm not trying to hook up with this woman. She lives on this side of the planet, and I live on this side of the planet. And we have borders um, that are closed. <laughs> yeah, borders that are closed. So I'm not trying to win anything out of this. She's a good-looking woman. She's very, very personable. You're so just saying that because we look related. <laughs> <laughs> she could be my twin sister. Well, we do have the same hair color. Right? Right? And if I didn't live in Canada and I was in Florida, my skin tone would be the same as yours, too. <laughs> what, stop sign red? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The funny part about it is I have my contrast turned down so people can't really see how red I am. That's how good I am at editing. Stick around. You're going to be fooled <laughs> all the time. Okay. Really quickly, I'm going to slam you with some questions. Boom, Let's boom, boom. So we can get back to the conversation because I don't, I hate missing people's questions, you know? Let's do it. Let's do them all. I'm here all night long. Okay. You got me for the rest when of the are you going to read your emails? Oh, so let, me tell you guys, let, me, let me answer that question real quick. And this is something that really is hard for me to say out loud. I say I have a thousand emails. We'll put it in, we'll put it in perspective, a hundred emails, a hundred. So zero to 100 is 0% to 100%. So thank you. Out of a hundred emails, I'm not lying about this. 60% of them is phishing. And phishing is somebody's emailing me with some bull crap sentence saying, I enjoyed your stream. Uh, Kevin, you're so personable or whatever. Please click on this link to see my dogs. And it's somebody oh, wanting to steal my YouTube account. It's a fish account. So I've had, it's made my uh, subscribers on YouTube suffer the most. And it really, really bothers me. 
because they're reaching out to me through an email and they're expecting a message. Mm -hmm. Um, and I haven't been able to get to them because a lot of them are putting links in of their dogs and their family and their area. And just like one of my followers is making me a blanket and she sent me pictures, but Google won't allow me to open that without a notification saying this is a phishing account. And even though I know who this person is, I can't take the chance that somebody hasn't tied in their algorithm to that picture for a phishing yeah. account. So I'm trying to respond to them as, as fast as I can. And before phishing was a problem for me, it was maybe two to four weeks when I, cause there's so many, I'm not yeah. posting. There's just a lot. I've got 4,000 subscribers. 3,000 of them are emailing me on a weekly basis. I'm so grateful because that tells me how well I'm doing connecting with my community. I'm so mm -hmm. grateful for those 3,000 emails a week. Don't get me wrong, but 2,900 of them have an image or a link to click on, and I can't open them up because of the phishing crap. Um, I was suggested, and I kind of took a little bit from Chrome listening to his early um live streams back when he had like 10,000 subscribers yeah. that he has to go to Patreon to keep his community safe. I learned that real quick. I opened a Patreon account, I respond to those guys 100% of the time because you have to pay $3 a month to contact me and have like an Instagram or a Facebook and this and that. What $3 a month does at 295 People will buy your account to fish at $3. They won't. That's the national national average. So $3 a month. If you want to contact me, I guarantee it's just like an email. I'm going to respond to you. It's got to be on Patreon because I can't open anything else. And that's what I, that's the reason guys, I haven't been opening my emails. If you've linked something in it, I can't open it. I can't because my Jacob, from chaos divers lost his YouTube account. Thousands upon tens of thousands of subscribers were gone like that because he opened a link. Lost you know, this is really good information for me to know because I'm still so small yet. And a lot of the people that are in, in the chat that I've already previously known are, are small channels too. So this is really good information for us as well don't click Thank on a link in gmail or yahoo whatever your whatever your email account is mm -hmm. even though and i can tell you this straight from my heart even though you want to connect with your viewers mm -hmm. if there's a link if put it this way it's 50 50 you're either getting a disease or you're not and the disease will kill your channel so i can't open them I can't yeah. open the ones with links and people that have been sending me emails without links, they've noticed that I've responded to them. And that's why it's, if you want to send me a link guys, it's gotta be Patreon. It's just, it has to be because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep my channel. I can't, my whole, my whole livelihood is YouTube. I can't lose it. Yeah. So Ma Maggie, I never click on a link. Solix, you know, he says you're right. Um, rough night watching three lives at the same time. <laughs> wow, See, that's our community. Here. If we have any overlap, it's like any device anybody has, they got them all running. Right. <laughs> that's because these guys are, they're professionals at watching other people on YouTube. They really are. I've had people mm -hmm. tell me they're watching AWP myself and Nug at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for that answer. I, I'm going to just zip, zip, zip. How long were you in the military? Someone asked. Uh, uh, I was in six months prior to 9-11 and six months after 2005. Okay. And where are you from? Plan I don't know if that's here. you or me. Uh, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, that's You're in Ohio from. and I am in Saskatchewan. But seriously, right now I'm in Tampa, Florida. Brag. I know. It's like yeah. 80 degrees. I'm <laughs> right now. I could walk this whole thing outside and show you palm trees and moonlight. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? Okay. Yeah. The next one is um, one of my channel members and they want to know, have you watched the dating game on my channel and why weren't you one of the members? 
So I've done two not- different Saturday nights where I've done the dating game, and it was a blast. A blast. So that's a two-part question, and that's a two-part answer. I have not watched a dating game, and the reason why is the last six weeks I have watched zero. You, I mean, not zero, maybe ten percent of my usual YouTube time. I've been mm-hmm. watching. I only catch live streams, and that's it. I only watch live streams, so yeah. I haven't caught them. The reason why I haven't been on them, no, well, Paula hasn't asked me. <laughs> you know what? It is. You know what? Okay, the women are the ones that always encourage that show, but there, it's harder to get women to do it than it is men. That's what she said. Yeah. Anyways. I had to go. Let's do it. I'll, I'll be on, what is it, a game show? Yeah, it's my own made-up it. live stream version. I'll, I'll do it. Let's do it. I mean, yeah, I, I'll set it up I, in a couple I got an 80% weeks. female follower base, so they would <laughs> definitely love to see that. So let's do it. <laughs> And I'll, I'll even be in character. I'll be some. Well, you, know, you, you it, depends, from, it I mean, depends on how many people volunteer for the next one, right? You might be a contestant that whose identity is concealed until I'll the bring movie. four characters myself. I'll do four different characters. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, gee, oh, man. you're an auto. Gee, there is a lot more Canadians. That's amazing. You know what? I bet that person is totally going to live an epic life this year, and we're going to play a little bit of epic shit. Here we go. What the hell is going on? What are you doing? I was doing the dance when that song oh. was <laughs> I just need a lighter. Yeah. Thank you again so much for that. That was very generous. Let me ask you a question. Okay. These are my questions. It's a chat's question. Oh, this is my question. Their priority. This is my question. What I'm going to ask you. Okay, okay, okay. On 101.5 (laughs) WOW. Questions with Paula. Next on the line, caller, go ahead. Paula, I want to ask you, uh, how come you're still single after this year of breaking up with that last boyfriend? Paula, actually, that was a few years from ago. Sacramento who would like to know why such a gorgeous woman like yourself is single after a year of being in a relationship. You know what that I think we've already at, we can already answer one of the other questions is, is this a date or an interview? <laughs> <laughs> My dates hopefully will finish a whole lot better than this one. Did people get it? Oh, you're Did buffering. I just freeze? Yeah, you're buffering. I have never seen myself freeze on my stream yard before. Well, you're in Canada. Go outside. You'll freeze right up real quick. I got to quit making funny faces and gestures, but no, this is not a date. No. We just both have very outgoing personalities is all that is. And we both love the same similar lifestyle. And I gravitate towards positive people. When she emailed me and said, can I do an interview? I've already watched probably three or four of her live streams and a couple of her videos. And I've turned down five interviews. Five. Really? I've accepted one. And hmm. that's you. Oh, where's so, the damn fan? <laughs> Put I'm on my face. One of the one of the ex van lifers, he now lives in a house, but one of the ex van lifers, um, he's got tens of thousands of followers. His community is so toxic, his um chat is so toxic. Um, I was like, no, it's never going to happen. When I saw your community and how positive it is, I was like, I, I want to be in there yesterday. Twice mm-hmm. yesterday. Your your community is, oh my gosh, nomadic van man. What an awesome dude. Um, He's Canadian Gina, too. You can't I argue with there was genuine Canadian Gina. Van lifers until this last year. And they're, they're, that community is so giving. She is amazing. She's like top 10 of the people I want to hang out with every single day. I wish I was there. Hmm. Yeah. You, of course, Paula. (laughs) John says God's makeup is blushing. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I love it. He saw me with no makeup on earlier today because I was working from home. I didn't need to wear any makeup. And I'm like, an hour and a half. I got to make a thumbnail. I got to set up the broadcast. I got to go put some makeup on. He's like, 
oh, you're such a girl. You're such a girl. <laughs> so to give you guys a little bit of perspective, we had to test out this software for me to come into her chat. So in order for, to, for us to do that, I had to have my camera up and her camera up. And I saw her. She was wearing a hat. She was uh, not. Piggy tails. She was not like, let's go to a bar looking thing. And I was like, mm, she's still kind of gorgeous. She's like, oh my gosh, I gotta get on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta leave now. It's an hour and a half. I have to get ready. I'm like, Paula, you're friggin' perfect. Oh my god, thank God you said that. But I gotta go shower. I gotta... And I was like, yeah. Such you a know girl. what? I such haven't had a reason to use my bird for a long time until tonight. Well, you know what, Goose? <laughs> she gave me the finger. The finger. Yeah, you know. There you go. Oh, yeah, he actually I gave you the inverted. finger on our private stream. We're just that comfortable. You really would think we're brother and sister. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing about it is on my on my stream, um, I don't say any swear words for one because I know I have a couple followers who have their kids watching. They love the words are hard type of that podcast. But I don't ever drink alcohol and I don't ever swear. So me being on your channel, cheers to you there, Lasse. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm going to take all the flack for this now. It's all it my fault. It ain't my oh, channel. That's, crazy. It's that's not my channel. Life, that Life Rocks' line is it's all my fault. But I'm going to borrow it, Ray, because apparently it's all my fault today. <laughs> Real quick, before you do that, Van Life Rocks, I, I'm really loving your channel, bro. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Yeah, he has an amazing channel. Yeah. Yeah, and that's one of the things that's really nice with our Wednesday nights. We have Ray with Van Life Rocks for 50 minutes, and then I go on for an hour, and then Van Life with Gina goes on for an hour. And what we do is we raid each other's channels, like what you did to me, right? You got, yeah. actually, a real-time raid. You got RTR'd. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm just so giggly. I just, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. I am going to be wound up for hours. Well, you're welcome. But it isn't me. It's it's seriously everybody from Adventures with Purpose who's in my live streams. There's such a great I, I asked these guys before I came over to you. You're probably going to watch a live stream that I have recorded before this one. And I asked these guys. I'm like, guys. There was 86 people or 90 people in chat. I said, please type one in chat if you are for going over to her channel and supporting this interview. And there was 86 likes, ones, 86 ones in chat within seriously 10 seconds. Really? That's this community. That's that is they so just cool. love everybody that is surrounded with adventures with purpose, the no mock experience, nug chaos divers i mean everybody they just love everybody and wow. you're such a looker and your personality is so amazing that oh. and annalise's mom that subscriber right there is by far the most important subscriber to me and there's a lot of content coming on up, up about my next six months and where i'm going and she's a big part of it Ooh, interesting. Yeah, she's a big part of it that. Um, can I, before I forget so that people, I'm not going to edit this down. I'm going to leave this the way it is, but I would like all of my channel members and moderators. Can you guys start dropping your links? There's a lot of them in here. And so I set up, I programmed a special bot so that anybody that joined my channel membership has the ability to just go exclamation mark in their channel name and my stream Perfect. elements will drop their channel link. And so I don't have to give them like they don't have to have a wrench and any of that responsibility, but they can drop their link when they want. Can I add one thing to that? Yeah. You guys know that I read every single message and try to respond as much as I can. This is the first time I've been, been interviewed. Um, I love the fact that a couple people have sent me text messages and messages through uh, YouTube that, Hey, we understand that you're being interviewed. Keep being you dude. For those of you who don't know, um, that's the reason why I'm not chatting a whole lot with you guys. It's going to be there next time. I'm being interviewed, so I'm here for Paula, and I couldn't. That smile right there is the reason why I'm ignoring all you guys. Uh -huh. that's, that's the reason. You know what? I usually have more interaction with the chat, except for when I'm doing interviews. So anybody that knows me knows that I try to get the questions addressed later. So what I have, um, I have uh, Going Green Mom, for anybody that doesn't know who she is. 
She is one of my friends on my Facebook Messenger. I have her pulled up on my phone and she Thanks, volunteering to do this, being the amazing woman that she is, sends me questions. So that even though we're talking, I can go back and see what questions hadn't been addressed or, you know, bring them up so that even though it might feel like they're being ignored, they're not. Well, to I me, that shows me that you actually, it gets harder when I'm interviewing. To me, that shows me that you actually really genuinely care about your audience. So thank mm -hmm. you for that. I, that's not a, there's a not a whole lot of that going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so just a community. Cool. I call it a family. It's our chosen family. It's a great family, William. Yeah. It's so Van Life Rocks, thank you so much for this super chat. And absolutely, I am going to do epic shit this year. That is my motto for the year, doing epic shit. Hey, so let's play that. Van Life Rocks, I'm going to be in California in exactly 20 days. Let's do some stuff, man. I can help you, California, right? if you don't want to use emails. <laughs> yeah, if you email. actually want him to be able to get a hold of you, I can give him your phone number. <laughs> yeah, you definitely give that guy my phone number. I'm 100% about that. But he's in California, right? He's over there in California? Hmm? Van Life Rocks is in California, right? Southern California. Yeah, I'm going to be there in five weeks. Let's, let's do some stuff, man. That sounds cool. So here's some epic shit for Van Life Rocks. Thank you, Ray. Thank you for being here. Van City Adventure, call me V, Maggie. You're still hanging in there. Lisa's still hanging in there. There's so many hey, great people. Gina. Van Life with Gina. What's up, girl? How you doing? Gina has been here the whole time. She's one of the moderators. She connected us together. She helped me find my long lost brother. I haven't been. Oh, are we related now? So we can't have a kiss on camera? Shut yeah, I'm going to pretend we're related because this is starting to get on my down nerves. You just like seeing me turn red. Yeah, I know. That's the whole thing. That's the reason why I, know. I do that most of my do is I make people embarrassed. Do that. If, I, if I come, if I, you know what? Here's a promise to all my viewers and all your viewers. If I cross that border to Canada because COVID is broken, I'm giving you a kiss on the lips. <laughs> to celebrate COVID being gone. Look how red in the face she is. Man. She is so beat red. She's a strawberry. Like, I have never seen before. Holy moly. <laughs> One's in chat if you want to see me give Paula a kiss on the <laughs> lips to close out COVID. <laughs> oh, One's in chat. God. One's in chat. I'm starting to wonder if this was a date. <laughs> <laughs> or a bad idea. <laughs> My brother puts a zero. What was the options again? Uh, it's ones in chat if you want to see me give me give you a kiss when to break COVID on lip to lip. <laughs> My brother's always the first one to say no to stuff like that. <laughs> well, he's very problem. protective of me though. Well, look at all these. There's ones a lot of that. ones going in. There. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you gotta love the community. <laughs> hey, people from my community are putting ones in there too, you little shit. They're just speaking their mind, Paula. <laughs> They're just speaking their mind. Mouth to mouth to you when I oh, cross cool, the border. Cool. You better be able to, to run because I'll be just a cruising along. Well, you know something? This has to be on camera. It's got to be edited and there's got to be video of it or it didn't happen. <gasps> Can we wear like those? Do you remember when you're a kid, you get those waxy kind of little lips? That a person you could chew them after. Do you yeah. remember that? I, I'm glad you're scared of my lips. I well, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy. Um, believe it or not, in real life, I'm actually quite shy. Yeah, Valerie, I, Valerie I, put I, it the I best. It it's better. Paula's choice. Valerie, you put it the best. It's Paula's choice. She. Gets oh, I love best. her already. Yeah. I love her already. But I'm I'm gonna be uh, working these things out until COVID. <laughs> to COVID breaks. <laughs> look how embarrassed you are I'm already red. red so you don't have to I, worry about your yeah, color I, changing I, I, all the time. I uh th one of my favorite things is making somebody blush so i i've reached goals twice tonight laura williams is another favorite person of mine in my community she just gave you a yep cinnamon flavored they were cinnamon flavored lips that's right thank you yeah she's an amazing I person. I'm losing my marble. And yes i completely agree he's cheeky kevin and is crazy Yep. yep, and crazy. Well, hey, the thing about it is, if, if I can do a kiss, like 
correct. Kathleen's one of my favorite people too. One times 100, she says. She wants to see us kiss <sighs> 100 times. And that's your favorite. Gina, you little instigator. Make out. I love you, Gina. I love you to death. No, 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 no. Can I got to play over just so you take a break from trying to make me blush? Let me play a nice long one. What shall I play? Any special requests? She's going to go blow her nose. <laughs> um, oh, I'll show you my promo, my 30-second promo for my new Wednesday night. Whatever you have to do to make this less embarrassing. Yeah, then I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's my Wednesday night. Like when Van City Van Life came on my channel, I didn't know who was coming. I did. You did not. I did. When I saw Badge, and uh, I've seen Badge a couple because I've been a subscriber of Chrome since he had like 5,000. And I thought so that was amazing. When he had 5, but when I saw Badge and his mystery thing, for some reason, I was just like, he's not saying because it's Chrome. No, but we're, this is a regular. This can be a regular. Well, I know, but this is the first time you know I saw him tons not saying of that. people. I know this, but this is the first time me not seeing that badge wasn't saying. I was like, this has got to be Chrome. I didn't know the past. And See, for some reason, and I should because they're close too, right? But the idea of it being Chrome did not actually cross my mind. Another friend of mine was like, "Oh, they knew too that it was going to be him." I'm like. I didn't I know for sure. It was just a premonition. Yeah, it was just just a thought. When he kept referring to them as they, like I'm saying, it, they. Dog right? and guy. So I thought it was a channel that had two people, and I was trying to figure it out. There could have been uh, so well, many van lifers. There's so many couples out there. Mm -hmm. I'm so, yeah. let, let me let me ask you this question. This is a question from me to you. So me, I'm interviewing you right now. When it comes to van life, I'm going to give you my thoughts. And I don't want you to pull from my thoughts and give me yours. I want your true thoughts, but I have to give you mine first. I am so don't so... just think something to satisfy you. I actually have a mind of my own. That I can do. Uh, you know what? I never had a doubt. Never. <laughs> that once in my mind. I mean, if you could put the word shit on your live streams every single time, that woman is definitely secure in her own <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's fan life. Everybody talks about shitting in a bucket. You cannot go to a live stream without <laughs> hearing that phrase in our community. You know, I lived in a van for two months, never shit in a bucket. <laughs> really? Oh, well, I haven't actually either. I have like a, I have one of those Camco porta potty toilets, and I've made my own composting toilet. I just haven't put in yet. I got a lug of blue and many trash bags. Still have went to a gas station to shit. <laughs> I can drive there. That's the beauty of being in a van. So let me well, ask you this question. Apparently your body gives you enough notice or, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're eating fiery sticks and pizza bread, you're going <laughs> to shit whenever you got to shit. When you have a normal pipe diet, you, okay, let's go you're going to know. Let's the question is. I'll just get, focus, Kevin. Focus hey, hey, on the question. Hey, Paula, that's yeah. a pretty shitty conversation. I know, right? <laughs> Look at those eyelashes. I thought mine were. No, they're fake. Move on. <laughs> you big big mine look like yours <laughs> normally. <laughs> I have huge eyelashes. Most guys think I'm gay. Well, when I come over, you'll know. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, what was the last thing we were talking about? So I can touch you on. You had a question. I'm supposed to tell you what I think. Don't just you know pull it out of what your answer was. What was I leading into for that? You were going to tell your thought on something and then wanted to know mine. It sounded really serious. It was until you screwed it all up. Right? Right? It's all my fault. No, it's not. It's not my fault either. Be I knew what I had to say. For yourself. You went off the track and stopped me from thinking what I should have been thinking. 
I don't know. I have no idea. I love this. Look at Amy. She's like, no, yeah, totally. we're all one big family now for sure. Discussion went to shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So we call her my favorite follower. Do you, do you want to know why we call her that? I had like maybe a hundred subscribers and, and uh, she subscribed and said, Hey, I'm a new follower. And her last name is Fowler. And my brain read it as her last name was follower. I'm like, you're my favorite follower because that's your <laughs> holy shit. That's not your last name. So it's been a running joke ever since. Emerson, he's in your chat right now. Emerson is one of the biggest stand up dudes when it comes to supporting AWP. That guy is amazing. So he's, guys, subscribe to her channel. I'm going to be in every single live stream that she does. If I'm able, if I'm not on the road, I'm in her live streams, get in her live stream guys, subscribe to it. Let's have a lot of fun. Her personality is look at her smile. That's her personality. That's what I love about her. She's just so true and real. No, it's me just being polite to you. Don't push it. Okay. Well, you're just hitting on me. I understand. I'm used to it. I'm that good looking. I'm so used to it. Shitty bottom should be a new channel, John. <laughs> Moose Milking Mondays is my new favorite channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shitty Bottom should be a new channel. Did That's you think right. of what you were going to ask or talk about? Yeah. My brain. Okay. Oh, Fit for Expedition. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Drop my channel members, drop your links and drop your new emojis. You know that who the hell is Mike that was in clay? Two of my emojis are from there. They're super cute. You guys show Kevin and everyone. The emojis. I'm gonna. I don't, I don't know how to you do know, the emojis. We're probably gonna have to wrap this up in 20 minutes. Well, so you I you do you. I'll, if you wrap it up in 20 minutes, I'm going live on my stream. Okay, and I'll come watch you. Well, of course in the you chat. Would. Because we're we're a couple now. Everybody thinks that we're. Oh, dating. what are you doing to me? Look, people are dropping like flies. We're down to 85. Oh, look at the emojis. Look at the emojis. Do you see them? Uh, all I see emojis? is wt.logo. Oh, you'll have to go back logo. and look at the stream. On, I have my YouTube open and my stream yard. So why? See, people are dropping like flies because it's 9 or it's 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time probably. Middle of the week. And I do work in the morning too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. We'll raid Kevin's, we'll raid Kevin's channel back. That is fabulous right so are we, are we a virtual couple now since everybody Just put us there stop it are, we, are you and i a virtual couple that'll, that'll probably meet twice a year but they don't have to know that well, are you a relationship like that but can we virtually see other people <laughs> um so you're a virtual polygamist awesome that's great let's do this <laughs> <laughs> Now I see why you're all good about setting up this live live stream. You just wanted to embarrass the hell. I'm out always of me. a dork. I told you this before we went live. I'm always a dork. I embrace the douchebag. Well, there's a dork, and then there's you. They're two <laughs> different beings. Yeah. I, well, Ray I love you. He is bad, Laura. He is bad. I can't do <laughs> anything about it, guys. This is just who I. Would you want somebody who's fake, or would you want the real Nomak? Uh, I don't that's know. A tough one. Now that I'm getting to know you, I don't know how to answer <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's like, maybe I should not have accepted this uh, invitation that I put out myself. Oh, come on. I'm not used to someone teasing me this much this oh, way. Oh, my gosh. You have no idea what's coming then. Don't ever oh. have me on the live stream again. Hmm? This was me being, this was me behaving. Well, you're going to have to come on a Saturday night one when I do shots because that's the only way I'm going to be able to handle you for any period uh -oh, of time. We got, <laughs> I think you're buffering. So that, that I remember what I wanted to ask you. I, want, I wanted to get your opinion on this. That, that exactly reminded me. Hey, um, when these borders open up, mm -hmm. you've got to come hang out with AWP and I. Cool. Come out with us for some some traveling. Do you, do you have vacation from work? Can you take vacation? Of course, yeah. Um, uh, let me get the schedule of their 2021 and get in contact with you uh, offline and come hang out with us and witness how it is helping people mm -hmm. and let your followers see that, that during the live streams or just during mm -hmm. content. See that? Let The reason why I want to do this is I want to give you a little bit of that feeling that I get 
that we've made a difference in somebody's life. Can my channel members, all the people that watch my channel, drop in the chat what I do for a living? I don't think Kevin knows. I have no idea. Yeah. Can you guys all drop it in there? I'm just curious to see. I'm pretty sure most of them remember. And it's just really funny. It's really funny with the things that you're saying. So it's ironical? Something like that. Uh, we'll yeah, that is a good point, um, Michael. Yeah, Adam, if the borders yeah. are even open, right? right? Yeah, they're starting to come in. Here's the answers. So you're a social worker. Mm -hmm. So I get so to make a difference in people's lives all the time. I don't ever talk about the particular population in my exact role, but I am a registered social worker and um, I love my job. I love my job. I usually do home visits. I facilitate support groups. Um, everything I do as a social worker is voluntary. So, cause I'm within the healthcare system and, and I get thank yous in my job. And now that with COVID and I don't get to go out to the homes so or doing everything virtually, it's hard, but then I get all the feedback from everybody here and it just warms my heart so much. That feedback is better than dollar bills. Mm -hmm. I, I'm mm -hmm. not and I'm so on. flattered that everybody remembers what I do. Thank you guys. So is that a yes that you're going to come with us on? But you know, okay, here's the catch. The borders are probably not going to open. And the only way I can get into the States is fly. Well, I can get you into the States. I have U.S. Marshal friends. Huh? Yes. You're gonna let me, they're going to let me drive my ambulance into the United States. No, we're going to bring you into the United States. We're going to come pick you up and take you back in the United States. And then where am I going to stay? In my ambulance is my home well, on wheels. all right i'm gonna give my viewers I'm not a little... in your van. let's make that clear right now no 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 no. it's not gonna happen i'm okay. not gonna do that to anybody there's no way that i'm gonna breach any type of trust between my viewers and your viewers Unless it was just me and the dogs in there. so in april i'm doing a reveal video where i'm gonna have two vehicles to choose from my van and something else I'm not going into detail, but come April, my van is open to you for your own use for really? a, for a short period of time, three to five months time. Period. Oh. <laughs> I don't have that much vacation time. <laughs> no, but that you, you have a vehicle to call your own where yeah. it's not, I'm not using it because I'm being, yeah helped out and i can't give yeah. the details yeah, but the secret, the secret. something okay, is happening where my van is open. I ask my family here a one for a yes a two for a no should i do this should i go take a month and spend it in the states fly out there and stay in his van holy crap i can't even believe that's an offer that is yeah. very generous of you i do appreciate that you're welcome right v this is epic shit look at all these ones in chat what? One, if I should really go and do this, you're gonna that actually something chat. I could do in these times, isn't it? All I'm seeing is ones in chat. My brother must have ducked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I mean, your brother can't really object to it because it's your own vehicle, there's nobody in the presence of it. True, true. So, Perry Life, he says, Perry No, you Life still didn't introduce yes. me. <laughs> Laura says, yes, yes, yes. It really helps the channel when you like and share the stream. Thank you. Emerson, one, 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 one. <laughs> Even Badge says yes. There you go, Badge. We oh, love here's you, my brother. He's like, what are we saying? Brooke Perks, how are you doing? Go get pizza. <laughs> so Brooke Burks Perks, one, 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 one from Brooke Burks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, I could do that because my son is still going to be at the house. So he can watch my dogs. He can make sure the house is fine. You've I seen my van build out, right? Pardon? You've seen my van build out, haven't you? No. Okay, you have a bed that's almost a queen size. I'm going to need to shit in there. I'll just tell you that much. I'm going to pee in there for sure. I don't care where you shit or where you pee. Okay. I'm telling you what's in my van. You can shit in the stream. <laughs> Wipe it up. I don't give a rat's ass. So. <laughs> I got a luggable loo. If you want the luggable loo, it'll go in the van. Sure. So you've got a queen size bed with full storage underneath. So you've got 20 square feet of storage underneath. The, the best part, Paula, 
you've got a barn door partition from the front to the back. So it's oh, all thumbnail. Yeah, it's all log cabin wood. You have a partition. That's all you need. There you go. You got storage. You got you have batteries. Right, there, right? Oh yeah, you do because you do your live stream in there. Yeah. And is it going to be warm where you are? Where are you going to be for that month? All of the western side of the United States. So <gasps> California, Washington, Oregon, British Columbia. British yeah. Columbia is in Canada. I know, but that, that's where I'm... Oh, at. West Coast. Alaska is, is in between. So it's going to be warmer there, and I could have your complexion red. Well, I can't promise you that. I just froze with my hands up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her. She's such a woman. I love her to death. Can't hide the fact that she's a female. But yeah, it's going to be from basically May till September. I'm going to be all on the western seaboard. And it's all 80 degrees, 70 degrees that those months. You're good to go. You're good to go. I got battery I'm, power for like you. This is, like if you're legit, I'm seriously considering this would be an adventure. And that is what I want to start doing is having adventures. I've been, I can't go into detail, but I'm fortunate enough to be away from my van for six months. Okay. And, but I'm still traveling. I'm still on the road. Put two and two together. Yeah, I have an idea of what's going on for you. Take I know my van for those at that time. Take so when is it that it, your van becomes available? Oh, the latest, the second week of April. Okay. You're going to be an American. Got to talk to the boss. She's Who's, amazing. I, that's one thing I do really love my job. Everything about my job. So, yeah. but yeah, um, it's yeah, there, it's there for six months. So if you got to like schedule two months later or three months later or five months later, it's there. Well, I wouldn't want to go in the summer because it's beautiful here in the summer. It's beautiful everywhere in the summer. I know, but oh wow. Well, we'll we'll talk about this privately later. A boot. Would you want to talk about it later or right now? I have to keep pulling out that damn bird. <laughs> oh, for crime sake. If you pull the bird, I'll pull two of them. <laughs> Get the guy another bear, will you? You're just begging for trouble, aren't you? Oh, my gosh. I actually promote it. So there is a couple questions, too. Like, there was a question from Stephanie L. Do I sleep on the stretcher in an ambulance? No, I don't. I, um... I'm five eight. I don't think a stretcher would be very comfortable. You're five eight. <laughs> yeah. Holy Why? How tall God. are you? Did that just change everything? I'm too tall. I'm six foot tall. Are you? No, really it six? doesn't. But you don't. You don't get the perspective of people through a webcam, so you don't never yeah. know. I would have really put you at five two five three. No. Yeah, we don't know. From time to time. All right. I'm gonna. You you want to you want to learn how to do. An accent? I'm going to teach no, you. No, right no, I don't. But you can do it's accents for them. It's really easy. I just need you to do three things for me. It's three words. Say rise. Rise. Say up. Up. Say lights. Lights. Now say it all together. Rise up lights. What do you shave your face with in Australia? I don't oh, get lights. it. Rise of lights. What do you shave your face with? Rise of lights. Oh! King, I thought this was one of those Mike Cox small bend over kind of things or sofa king. Do you know how many times on a live stream someone had to say what sofa king meant before I clued in? I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it PG. <gasps> oh my gosh. If I could be in the States too, that's right, Kathleen. There's so many of you that I could actually see if you're in the area I'm gonna be. There you go. It's, it's like a no-brainer. It's a what? A no-brainer. You got a vehicle. You got people to see. Come down. I'll tell you what. If you come down to the United States at any point in the spring or the summer, I'll come up and hang out in Canada for the last part of the summer. That's my promise to you. If the borders open up, I'll come in. Any way of getting yourself invited. Damn, you're smooth. And you say you don't date. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to come see Chrome too. And I'm pretty sure he's not into men. 
<laughs> <laughs> I think Chrome and I are about 20 hours apart. Well, he's going to be in Vancouver for the summer, probably. Yeah, I'm about 20 hours away from Vancouver, straight driving. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'll be, if I live in a van, I can drive 20 hours in a day because there's 24 hours in a day. I live in a van. 25. Paula, you got a support group already, right? Thank you. She does. She so does. <sighs> uh, Redheaded Riding Hood, the borders being closed is only an issue if I want to drive. I do. We can fly. Although when I come home, I have to quarantine for 14 days. So hopefully I would still be working at home when I got back. If not, I have to take two weeks unpaid. So Well, I'm pretty sure that the community... Oh, and then will I have to quarantine when I get there? No. You quarantine in the van. Well, no, but we have laws. Like literally, if you come into... Canada, you have got to stay in one spot for 14 days before you can out, be out and about at all. Yeah, in America, we have freedom. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's not even let's not even go there, dear. <laughs> Seriously, did he just say it out loud on the screen? No, we do have the same laws. We really, really do, but we just don't give a shite. Mm -hmm. And actually, I would like to make sure I get my um because through work I I have to get my shot, so I would like to get that too. But it should well, be by then. I will make sure that you have the uh, testing done. I have some poll. The um, what? Gun? The testing. You can get COVID testing anytime you want through friends of mine. So really, you, yeah. So if you want to fly back home, you have COVID testing before you take off. And that way, when you land, if you can have somebody um, do COVID testing for you when you land, you have two negative tests back to back. You don't got to quarantine any longer. I hope oh. Canada has the same type of rules. But if you have two back to back in the United States of negatives, then you're good to go. <gasps> Kathleen says, I'll be there, Paula. Have van. We'll travel. Oh, my gosh. That would be so awesome. Where is so Kathleen? Awesome. Was she in the States? I think she's in South Dakota, if I remember Ooh, correctly. I think you, you let us know. But she has been, she's had my back for months and months and months. And she's just an amazing cool. person that I would love to meet face to face. So there you go. You have so many fans in the United States. If you have a free van to travel in, Paula, let's drive right, around the United States. Stop Caravan with us. And do epic shit. That's this year, right, guys? Do epic shit. Well, if you want Epic Ship to happen in 2022, I can't promise you because that's too far away. I'm not looking for a commitment from no, you. <laughs> and Van Life Rocks is in California. That's where I'm going to be based out of. Come down to California and meet up with your one, one of your favorite people. Wow. Wow. Let's go Lane Fitzwater. She's the one who's been making me this blanket. I can't. I'm sorry I haven't been responding to your emails. They've, they've had links in them and pictures i wish i could subscribe or uh respond to them but i can't open them i thank you so much for the blanket that you're making me though it looks epic hmm. okay you guys i am going to put some hard thought I'm, I'm gonna my answer is yes as long as i can find a way i will do it I, i'm literally committing to it today i will do this and yeah, I don't make decisions that quickly, but I will. All, all I can offer you is the van. Stuff. That's all I can I offer you. I need an exact date to try to get there and where I'm going. You've got a van from mid-April for six months. So whatever is on you, you do what you got to do for well, six months. It doesn't matter months. if it's the last okay. week of those six months. You just do you. Hmm. Okay, well, well we can. Yes, Amy Fowler, you can email me without links. I cannot open up any links in Gmail. My one of my best subscribers, uh, Amy Fowler. I love you to death. Love you to death. Mm -hmm. but she's saying that. I know why she's asking that for everybody else. That's why she's asking. Yeah, this yeah. Is community. So yeah, do it. Three twenty five is right. I do. I my son is here. He wants your dogs. He wants your house. That's not going to be something I have for an opportunity for long either, right? Yeah. Oh, South Dakota and Nebraska both. Kathleen said for where she lives. Yeah, well, you just do you. When you come down here, you go over wherever you want. I'm sure.